My name is Michael Kuznetsov. I'm a second year trainee I'm here at Faris. I think at the moment what I enjoy the most about my job is the variety because as a trainee here at Faris we have to change our jobs every four months. So every four months we're doing something entirely different. So overall over 24 months, however long the training contract is, you find out a great deal. I think the biggest turning point in my life was when I left my family in Ukraine and came to the United Kingdom. I was 13 when I left Ukraine and it was very difficult for the first few years. I wasn't really prepared to be living on my own, especially at that age. And British boarding schools are not necessarily forgiving. So the first few years were quite difficult, but as I approached A-levels, I really assimilated and it became a lot easier. My parents always wanted me to go to university to do economics because my father is an economist and there was some sort of expectation that I would continue the family line, as it were. Um, but um, I wasn't really inspired by that. I really like mathematics at school and um, I quite wanted to go to the university and find out more about it. I really enjoyed going to the university. There were definitely the best years of my life. Suddenly there was this influx of variety, influx of people from different backgrounds, um, and that was really enlightening. And I sort of, I did a lot of growing up, um, seeing people have different stories, different histories. When I was doing mathematics, I had to decide what my career is going to be. And um, I considered banking, and then I thought that law would be a good option. But then to do law, obviously you have to have legal background, and I applied to do a legal conversion course and you go there for a year and you essentially get an equivalent of legal degree. I felt a bit lost at the time. I couldn't really tell at the time what I actually wanted to do. But then I thought, why is it that I decided not to stay with maths? Why is it that I decided to go and do law and not, for example, banking? And it was because I really wanted to have a good life work balance. When I was doing my interview here at Farris, I asked them if it was going to be all right if I take a gap year between completing my legal studies and studying work here, and they were absolutely fine with that. And in the end, I went to Paris for five months, uh, and also went traveling quite a bit. In particular, I spent a month in Japan. More than anything, my gap year gave me that sense of appreciation for freedom and liberty, and that motivation that whatever you do at work, in the end, you're really trying to set your path to the future so that a few years from now, you can do what you're really passionate about. I quite like cooking, and uh, recently I've become enamored with um, Heston Blumenthal, who is he's a celebrity chef, and he's quite known for wacky, really time-consuming recipes. If I have a free weekend, um, I would usually invite friends over for Sunday night, and I would start cooking on Friday evening for two and a half days. <laughs> But it usually works out, it's really good. I think I would quite like to be involved in shaping the society in some way, whether it be because I'm still at a law firm but acting for charities or political organisations, or whether it's because I've moved on and I've actually become part of charities or political organisations. I think I'm quite passionate about science and I'm also quite passionate about societal change. That quite separate things and I, I can't imagine I'll end up being able to do both but I would quite like to end up doing either of them.